Hello everybody, welcome back to Eldritch Studies. Uh, I'm Dan, aka Pollock Star, Nate, uh, Svartolf is with me. Uh, we've had a major pat mod pack update. Uh, we're version 1.1, lots of things has changed. Uh, my screen's bugging out a little bit, that's weird. But, um, it's really weird. Okay, anyways. Uh, we've added a, we had to take out chocolate quest because it was keeping mobs from spawning, but we added a few other things, and it adds things like this guy. It's a this? really big angry tree. It's a called big, a Trent. It's a Trent. This is a Trent, and we're gonna go kill it right now. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, I'm lagging just a little here. This isn't good. Some. Oh. Ow. Oh, he does not look happy. Oh, look at this thing! Look at his face! He is. Ow! Ow, he's doing like one damage to you. And you're doing like 26 at a time. Yeah, that's true. Oh god, oh god! That's just a mana, a mana creeper. Nothing too, All right. too bad to worry about. My damage indicators isn't working properly, so it's not... Ah. What hey. the? Whoa! Hell is that? Do you see that? Yeah. Do you see the ever expanding explosion of light? Yeah. That's a problem. That's scary. Why isn't it going away? Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> there it went. That was, that was terrifying. He dropped logs. That was it. Yeah, I didn't get anything else from him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they dropped like 11 oak logs. I mean, that's useful, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very practical drop. Thank you, Mr. Trent. <laughs> his name's Resnor. That's his name. Hey, Resnor. Well, it was. Or it is now. In death, yeah. in death he has a name. <laughs> well, that was that. <laughs> What's that? I said, well, that was yeah. that. Yep. All right. So, uh, anyways, like we were saying, uh, we wanted to jump in and record there because we hadn't, we had never seen that thing before. And not, we're not even sure which mod that's from. We've added, uh, we added Project Zulu. We added, uh, well, what, what, we we didn't Blood exactly magic. add ruins. Um, ruins were not actually allowed to distribute, but it's a server-side only mod, so it's in the server. And when the server does go public, which will be soon, we promise, very soon now, soon. Um, when the server does go public, the ruins will be there for you without having to download or distribute them. So, um, no legal issues there, fortunately. Uh, we added um, a very a very small, kind of unknown mod called a, a pi well, it's called the Pirates mod by a guy called Codemasters, he usually refers to it as the Codemasters Pirates mod. Um, maybe a little narcissistic, but it's a pretty good mod. I like it. Uh, I did a I did a spotlight on it a while back. Uh, if you want to go check that out, but I'm sure we'll we'll show the stuff soon enough here. In our in our server. Uh, what else did we do? We added blood magic. We added blood magic. Ah, uh, yes, we added. Um, we had we had gotten a handful of a handful of requests and uh, some. Uh, this, so, uh, about for blood magic, and we had some discussion about the bal some balancing questions. Um, but then we kind of took a step back, and because there are some powerful things of blood magic, no denying. But then we took a step back and realized that um, Nathan currently has a weapon that is can routinely deal like 20 plus damage within a single hit. So we realized that the balancing is already kind of broken <laughs> as, as it is. No, it's not broken. Well, it's no, not it's, broken. Uh... It's just. Blood magic evens it out a bit. Yeah, actually. So uh, blood, we've realized blood uh, blood magic is is not in fact as overpowered as we thought. Plus, it of course fits the theme fits perfectly. That it does. Um. So we have blood magic now. Also, there's these the rat things. Oh, kobolds. Are, they, are these kobolds? I believe so. Those kobolds are from Lycanites. Oh, they're not hostile. Nope, oh. not yet. Okay. If you mess with them, they will be. Alright. Uh, and I think they might actually be hostile at night. I'm not positive about that oh, one. Alright. So, was there a creeper wearing armor? They were kind of bugging out on me. 
Oh. Yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. Um, did we add anything else? Uh, oh, we added, we, added oh, we added secret rooms. Secret rooms. We added secret rooms, which will be a good. Uh, it's secret rooms is always a good addition in a public server, I think. Yeah. Um, Give you all kinds of ways to hide your stuff in yeah. your base. Yep. Um. Uh. I don't really. I don't remember anything else. Uh, I can take a look through it real quick. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, there really hasn't been any. There really haven't been any changes. Uh. To the oh doom like dungeons oh doom like dungeons that was the I knew there was another world gen thing we had a yep. doom like dungeons um, which is just adds you know some a little bit more world gen and some treasure chests and stuff to go with them uh, stuff to replace uh, chocolate quest uh, better dungeons uh, uh. We, were, we were really sad to see better dungeons go um, but uh, unfortunately the way that the better dungeons works is that it has a bunch of one-time spawners in in them, and the spawners we think occupy like each even if the spawners haven't act activated yet, uh, the one-time spawners occupy the slots for hostile entities in the world. So, We're not entirely sure that it's that, but well, some, yeah, something, something with something like that. Yeah. yeah. The problem was that with any any world gen from better dungeons. I don't know. There's, it prevents any of the other hostile mobs from spawning because there's no longer any, any open slots for hostile mobs, which is a problem considering all the mobs mods that we added that added hostile mobs. Yes. And, uh, uh, we were, like we were, we were traveling along the overworld, just along the surface, even at night, and there was not even a single vanilla mob spawning to to block our path. Right. Um, and as fun as the as fun as the better the better dungeons are, uh, we just we couldn't it wasn't it wasn't quite worth that trade off in our in our opinion. So we did add a couple others a couple new world gen mods uh, that we th that we hope will uh, fill the void. Um, we also added uh, and the, there are a couple things in the Codemasters Pirates um, that add some uh, equipment that kind of fills the void left by. Uh, the void left in the armory by all, all the, the weapons that we lost from that. Yep. Uh, fortunately, though, the guy that I think his name is Chocolatine on the forums, the uh, one that's developing Chocolate Quest, said that in 1.7, when he updates to that, um, that issue will no longer be there and it won't prevent other mobs from spawning. So, hopefully, uh, if we're still doing this mod pack when uh, all the other mods have updated to 1.7, we will be able to add that back in. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, Disclaimer, don't expect to that. that to be anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, it could be... I mean... It could be months, you could have usually. You could have grandchildren by the time that's ready. <laughs> uh, but um, we figured... Uh, Harry's not here tonight, unfortunately. He might show up a little bit later, but he's not here at the moment. But we kind of figured that... Uh, since we added a few new world gen things, we might Nate and I might go exploring out in the world a bit to some unloaded chunks. See if we can't find some uh, some ruins, some uh, Zulu dungeons, some Doom-like dungeons, something like that. Yep. And on the way, we can uh, rediscover how dangerous the surface world can be now that mobs are actually spawning on it. Hopefully. Yeah. So we're out looking for some some new things. Adventure. Uh, the adventure. You got a, you got a, one of those the super awesome travel spells, right, Nate? Yeah. All right, good. So that way I can use mine without feeling too guilty. Oh, you, I mean, got, you got way ahead of me, actually. Holy yep. Shit. I was waiting for you as I lost track of you. I'm up here at the edge of the, uh, the rocks. I'm not yep, sure where you are. Alright. That's such an awesome spell. It is pretty cool. It's a zombie there. I don't need no damn zombies. Have you turned? Because I've lost you again. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm behind you there. Oh, you're behind me. Okay. Oh. Or, I'm in front of you now. Yeah. Oh, there's another. Uh, that's what. Yeah, this is the. Real, I'm, I'm looking forward to ex exploring the inside of this, even if there's nothing to to get anymore. 
this particular dungeon. Do we just want to look inside? Yeah, let's take a quick look inside, just for funsies. Alright, ow! Some armored horses. Armored horses in the wild? No, no, like in the castle. Oh, huh. Oh, I guess maybe the riders left them. <laughs> that, would make, that would make sense. That is an interesting point. Nothing personal, horses. That's supposed to be really cool. Oh, it's like a throne in here. Yeah. A great, a great feast hall. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. So, uh, Got a some, of some stables. You guys out there could, uh, take this place over and make it your own. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, we are gonna go in, at Nate, Nate and I are gonna, and maybe Harry is gonna, are, we are gonna go in at some point to most of the dungeons we can find that have already been spawned and get rid of the loot. Yep. Um, just so this, because right now there's a lot of chests sitting around here, uh, completely unguarded, and that's just not fair. So, nope. uh, we're gonna, so we're gonna leave, the, we're go of course we're gonna leave the structures, because the structures are fantastic. Um, but we're gonna take out, we're gonna take out the chests and, and, the, and, the, and the free loot. It's not gonna be there. But, this place will be here, so... Once the server comes up, and you guys, if you guys want it, it's all yours. Yep. You guys can uh, fight to claim it yeah. and hold it. <laughs> um, speaking of that, actually, this is a decent time to, to mention that uh, Nate and I have been discussing some uh, possibilities for uh, uh, server events once the server goes goes public. Yep. Um, like uh, uh, contests, like building contests. Uh, some uh, PvP uh, like arena contests, uh, stuff like that. You know, and we'd have prizes for winners. If we'd uh, give you, we'd, we'd spawn you in some materials or tools, or, or, or we'd uh, maybe, like I guess in a, in a less practical sense, we'd probably could give you a, 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 a player statue in 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 our base or in a main point uh, in the in the server or in the in in the world you know plus there's the the fame of there's the yeah <laughs> there's the, glory. the fame the fame and the glory oh, I can't quite reach that even with my jump can't quite reach that okay that's fine what are you trying to reach Oh, just the top of this tower up here. Ah. Hmm. Oop. Er, er, nope. Ah! <laughs> Problem. I just couldn't quite make it up where I, where I thought I could. I, I could, couldn't quite make it as high as I thought I could. Ah. Anyways, I don't. I think. I think we're. I think we're about done here for now. Yeah, I haven't quite found the top of you. Uh, not exactly. No. Oh no. I, mean, I feel like there should be like a, like a giant boss room or something. Oh, well, uh, the boss. The boss in the last dungeon we fought wasn't. I mean, he, he didn't have really have a special room in his own. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I mean, I'm up at the very, very top now, and it's just a handful of watchtower. Like, what? It's a, just like a handful of tower areas with, like, a narrow pathway going between them. Although, true. here is, I believe, what would be the uh, final Chet loot room. Oh, did you find it? Yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and take out this final loot. Oh, it's so, it makes me so sad. Look at all these infinity orbs. Diamonds, emeralds. Diamonds, emeralds, uh, ender pearls, all kinds of metal. Damn. One of them had like a, a affinity book. It's a shame. Yeah, it is a shame.